I'm gonna say that we gotta tune down. Well, actually, that song's tuned down to D, or just the, the E string's tuned down to D. And then. So this is Slither. Now Slither is one of the songs that just barely made the record when I first wrote the riff because uh, it, we, it was written during the time that we were auditioning singers and we had these really like, um, I don't know, just about eight to nine hour days here at this studio just uh, listening to singers and then we'd work on songs at the same time and at the end of the day I came up with this riff and the guys just didn't seem that interested and I had to come back another day and go, that's a really good riff, you know. It still didn't fly. And then third time around. And then after we demoed the song instrumentally when Scott came into the band, it was one of the songs that we gave him and he picked up on it right away. Um, there's not really, I'm not sure what the rhyme or reason is to this riff though. <laughs> A variation on that riff um, in the verse, or actually in the chorus, just played on the the, the high D string, which is. And that's those different notes that are in this, the, the, that progression correspond to the chord changes underneath. Basically, it's almost the same as as when uh, the song uh, "Set Me Free." As far as you're you're muting the A string, but hitting the the two strings around it, which is the D and the and the 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 E tuned down to D. So. It's, you have to be careful. It's, it's, it sort of comes naturally, I guess, to not hit it, but you could make the mistake of hitting it and it wouldn't sound too good. Um, 